Whoa, something positive to talk about? Well, it's about time. I was starting to get worried there for a second. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. Coming at you once again with a very surprising video. And if you like the PS Vita, yada yada yada, don't forget to subscribe. And make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions about this whole situation down in the comment section. Okay everyone, so I happened to come across a little piece of interesting news lately, and it's kind of ironic because lately we've been having to suffer through the whole legacy platforms for the PlayStation brand being discontinued or being hindered, such as the whole 3.74 firmware update where we're no longer able to transfer content from like the PS3 to the PS Vita and so on. My therapy bills were extremely high after I heard that and let's not even get into where the PSP stands these days because it's pretty bad or is it well once again we find ourselves in a situation where we gotta leave it to the community and third-party companies to pick up the slack when it comes to these legacy platforms so the following bit of news comes from the website pixel heart now for those of you out there who have never heard about this company they're a website that originates from France meaning that I personally don't speak the language thank goodness for Google Translate but don't worry they do speak English as well and they distribute and publish independent video game titles on multiple platforms such as the dream Cast, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, and they even dabble into physical versions of homebrew games. Still having wet dreams about that whole Sakura Swim Club actually getting a physical release, just saying, Whew, is it hot in here or is it just me? So on and so forth. They also dabble into board games and card games. Well, if you happen to check out their official Twitter pages of late, you might see something there that may pique your interest. Okay, everyone, are you ready for this little tidbit of news? Hang on to your butts, because this website is going to be bringing back PSP games yes I can't believe I'm saying that either did those words actually just come out of my mouth I think they did okay here's what their Twitter post had to say PSP legends we asked you a question you answered us and we heard you on June 8th our team will offer you hashtag PSP games stay tuned oh snap I need a moment hold on the excitement is getting a little bit too much for me guys but yes much to our surprise PSP seems to be making a comeback at least with this particular company anyway and I know that many of you out there who watch this channel obviously are big fans of the PSP because PSP and PS Vita are sort of a yin and yang to one another. Or maybe like two brothers where the younger one unfortunately got the shorter end of the stick from their company. Oh, but brace yourselves because there's more juicy tidbits to this story than meets the eye. So the company at this point is very tight-lipped about this whole situation and aren't going to be giving us any more details until June 8th. Now of course obviously at this point I got very curious as to where all this was going. So I decided to check the comments of this post because it did get quite a lot of heat from the community. One individual by the name of Smith and Company Creation, Super Smith 25,000, boy that's a mouthful, had this to say, as long as I don't have to put homebrew on my PSP, then awesome. Pixel Heart made sure to reply to this comment, as they did pretty much with every comment, I gotta give them kudos for this because they really do have a heart for the community here by their replies, unlike certain other companies out there, which I won't name. And they said, Legend Section is official games from the PSP, no homebrew. So they did in fact drop a few hint bombs there. These are in fact going to be official release games for the PSP and nothing to do with homebrew. Which is actually kind of surprising considering like I said earlier this whole company dabbles in the whole homebrew scene on physical format which I absolutely just love. Oh and Pixel Hearts just in case you're watching. But we do at least have confirmation that it's not going to be that in particular. So let's continue here. Another individual by the name of Saga Digo 171 I think? Well at least his username is a little bit easier to pronounce. Replied saying how? Oh, the last company Gaijin Works was doing a PSP game and then went MIA. And Pixel Heart responded by saying, Hi, you will see on June 8th, but we won't create new PSP games. So we've gotten some more hints dropped there. Doesn't look like these will be new release titles for the PSP. Which in my mind makes me wonder, could it be that maybe they found some older stock of PSP games that they're going to be selling since these are official titles? Huh, I guess we'll find out in due time. Way to keep us on the edge of our seats, company. Okay, so the next post that I wanted to bring to your attention comes from an individual named Sushi. And I'm assuming that maybe they speak French too because I couldn't understand a word they were saying so I had to use Google Translate. Thank goodness for Google Translate. Well, actually, yeah, I just noticed it just say they're translated from French. So anyway, they asked them, if you ever get there, feel free to make non-off plays on the PS Vita. Meaning, feel free to do some PS Vita games. And Pixel Art responded to them with a gif in the manner of, hmm, 
Maybe... Is that from Everybody Loves Raymond? I don't even know. And keep in mind here, as I mentioned earlier, this company is very transparent with their customers and will give as much information as they possibly can with what they're allowed to at the moment. And the fact that they hinted that that could possibly be on the horizon has me all kinds of hot and bothered. Probably a bit too much information, I know. But just imagine the possibilities of all this, guys. Imagine where this could go if PS Vita games were possible from this company. I might just be pipe dreaming here, but could you just imagine the possibilities if the proprietary PS Vita cartridges and memory cards were able to be recreated via homemade boards and we'd be able to see like homebrew titles on physical format? Or if this company is finding older stock of games here, just imagine what if they were able to get their hands on some of those Nicolas releases? Or maybe some of the more pricier Asian English releases such as Phoenix Festa. That would be amazing and I would be even double hot and bothered over that. So it's going to be really interesting to see where they go with this. Again, they're being very tight-lipped about the whole situation here and won't be giving any further details until June 8th of 2022, which at the time you're watching this video will only be not too long away. But one thing's for sure, I'm certainly going to be losing a good night's sleep for the next few days. Out of anticipation, of course, so I guess that's a good thing? So I will have their Twitter post and website linked down below. And let's see if we can get this ball rolling, guys. For those of you who have Twitter accounts, maybe you could leave a comment on that post saying, hey, we'd love to see PS Vita games in the future if that's possible. I mean, hey, judging from their post, they listen to the PSP community, so why not the PS Vita community too? Unlike some other companies out there who appear to be deaf to our voices. And of course, for those of you who are into PSP games, hey, you have something to look forward to as well. And that'll just about do it for this topic, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on this whole matter. Do you think PS Vita games might be a possibility from this company in the future? How do you think these PSP titles are going to be released? Are you excited about all this? Could you care less? Please leave me all of your feedback and comments down below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to... Gutter Drums, Hemdall Imber, Wendy K, David Ray, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, Silica, Per Sterner, Adam Thurry, Skullshire Tugel TCG, BMF, Claymore Malarkey, BG Legends, Jared Hado, Kevin Enry, Heston Joseph, Crazy Cat, Rodrigo Vera, Hero Acer, Adam Sony, PS Vita S, Richard Cruz, Joseph Shavak, Jelle, H Hitter, Michael O'Connor, Chris Foxhound, Sabin Fire, Franz Hartle, Aridri, No Good, Lacerated 87, Starlight Mirror, PSP Guru, Jamie, Hector Gonzalez, Kayonko, Burrs and Mystery, Juan M. Hermesio, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monty, Mazgus, Matt Hargett, Buzz Saiyan, Razal Pliskin, 1488 Dental, Azumara, Nintendo Switch at 2 a.m., Donut Valley, Ricardo Martinez, Dr. Super Artie, Catherine.uk, Meshuga360, Shin Snake, Alan Iwazu, Zakrito, Airkick72, Bushin Ryu Cat, Milksama, Nirurashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, B Mystery, Makis Blob, Berserker Games, and Randy Azadech. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically, the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website, then anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you, the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. So please, Pixel Heart, make PS Vita games a reality, especially for the more rarer titles, so I can feel even worse that I overpaid for them.